Hello guys, welcome to Online Dev Tutor presented by Preferred Solutions Team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Code Generator Framework Beginner Tutorial, and this is our part number 23. Inside this video session, guys, we'll discuss about file upload library class in Code Igniter. And also, guys, if you're a beginner to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about Code Igniter Framework Tutorial. In our previous video session guys, we had discussed about session library class in CodeIgniter. And also guys, if you want to find about the existing code of this CodeIgniter framework tutorial, you can download all the codes from this GitHub link. If I back to browser, now inside this browser, this is our GitHub repository of CodeIgniter playlist. You can find all the codes right here. So if I again reload this page, because it contains two branch, if I go here, this is all about the div branch which is made currently. So you actually found all those codes inside dev branch or inside this master branch. So back to editor. Now inside this video, we are going to make a file upload system. It means that we are going to upload some files. Let's say that we are going to upload some images inside our coordinator application. So how can we achieve this task? By using our file upload library package in CodeIgniter. So firstly, before implementing about file upload, we want to make or we need to implement a form. So just go to controllers and inside this controllers, if I make a new controller, let's say that my upload dot PHP, this is the controller file inside that. Let's say that class my upload, basically it extends about CI underscore controller inside that I am going to make as a first method as a constructor method so public function let's say construct inside this constructor function firstly we need to call the construct of the CI controller so let's say CI construct this is guys simply a syntax to declare any controller in our code writer application now inside this controller I am going to make a method for upload our let's say images so let's say public function my upload form inside this method i'm going to call a view file so this load and this view method inside the view method we need to pass the file name as the parameter so let's say my upload form so copy this file name back to our views folder Inside this views folder, we need to make that file. So this is my upload underscore form dot PHP. Inside this form, I'm going to declare a form tag. So let's say form. Inside this, we have to declare some attributes. So let's action. Let's say method. Also, let's say ink type. This is for the file upload. Inside this, we need to declare called multipart form data. Method should be let's say post and action. This action basically indicates that what basically URL we are going to hit to upload our files. On file upload, let's say that we are going to hit this method so public function upload my files. This is the method that we are going to hit. So this is the method. So back to our routes and let's say that this is all about file upload library routes so something route inside this let's say that file or let's say form upload this route basically indicates about my upload and inside this my upload controller we have called my underscore upload underscore form so copy the method name back to our routes file and i'm going to pasting it here so this is all about the form Again, if I go make a route for the upload, so let's say submit file and also it will call the controller called my upload and inside my upload, here is the method which basically submits our files. So if I save this routes file, my upload controller back to our, our HTML form and inside this, we are going to use the site URL. So let's say echo site URL. Basically guys, we had discussed about what is the difference between base URL and site URL in our existing videos. You can check it from here. 
inside the site URL function, I'm going to pass this parameter. So let's the submit file, go here and pasting it here. Inside this form, I'm going to make simply a label. Inside this label, let's say that only a simple message, something let's say choose file to upload. And basically, there should be an input type file button. So let's say input type file. And here is let's say that file underscore let's say upload. Finally, I'm going to make a button to upload that. So button and let's upload file. So if I save this file back to routes.php, copy this route back to our browser, go here and let's say index.php and instead of that if I type form upload and here we have some error error is that call to undefined function site URL and this is because if I back to editor to use this site URL we need to load a helper and something the helper is called so let's say this load helper and we have the helper called URL helper so if I save this file back here reload this page and this is our form so if I inspect this form, so just I want to right click and inspect. So if I make zoom the console, now as we can see here, this is our site URL and site URL basically includes index.php. This is the one of the difference between site URL and the base URL. So inside this form tag, we have made a simple HTML input type file button and also we have made a simple button. After choosing any file, we are going to upload this file on this route. So back to editor, inside method called upload my files, I am going to declare some of the configuration for our file upload. And the first configuration let's say config, there should be a key something called upload underscore path. It means that at what path I basically we are going to upload our files. So if I back to folder structure, just back here, now inside this root folder, as we have application system and user guide, I am going to make a folder, something called let's say uploads. This is the uploads folder, basically all the uploaded file inside this it will contain. So back to editor, let's say that we are going to upload all the files inside this uploads folder and also I want some configuration, let's say a lot types. It means that what are the types of files we are going to allow to upload. So inside this double quotes, let's say that we are going to upload called JPG and the PNG images. So finally, after making these two configuration lines, let's load our library called file upload. So this, let's load something called library. Inside this, we have called upload library. This is built-in library provided by Codeigniter. And the second parameter, I am going to pass this configuration. So copy this variable and pass it here. So basically, upload library package works inside by using these values. Means it will upload all those files inside this folder and the allowed file type, something called JPG and PNG. So inside here, let's say that if this upload this is the library by loading this library we can access this upload it will contain or it contains a method something called do underscore upload inside this do underscore upload we have to pass the name attribute of our input type file element and this is the name attribute so copy this name go here pasting it here inside this if it means that we have successfully uploaded our file. Inside this if block, let's say that file has been uploaded. Also, we are going to make our else block. It means that we have some error. So some error while file upload. So now let's say that inside this file has been uploaded it means that successfully we have passed all these two conditions and also the file has been chosen according to these types so let's say print a this upload if I close this control F 
and let's say this upload and data is a method basically this data method returns all the attributes basically this do upload perform and finally let's say that we have some errors so inside that let's say print a this upload and it also contains a method something called display errors it basically returns all the errors actually we will get while file upload so if I back to our browser reload this page successfully we have made our form and all the codes of submission we did at the submit file route so let's choose a file first so click on that button and this is the file so if I click on 2.png click on open and if I press on upload file and here we have some error so if I make some zoom and this error says that this upload destination folder does not appear to be writable obviously because we have made an uploads folder and currently I am using Ubuntu operating system so firstly I need to give permission to this folder so back to our terminal let's say that chmod recursively triple seven and let's say current folder so successfully I have given permission to this folder again back here back here reload this page once more and also guys if you're using Windows user then this permission is not allowed in at your operating system so click on choose file let's say 5.png click on open upload file and here we have some error and error is that you have not specified any allowed file types but actually I think that we have allowed that and this is spelling mistake so this should be allowed types back to our browser go here again reload this page choose file let's say 6.png open click on upload file and as we can see that all the file attributes we actually got after file upload like file name underscore name file type file path full path all these attributes actually return by our data method back to folder structure go inside uploads folder and as we can see that the image has been uploaded inside this uploads folder so back to editor these all information basically return by a function called data and the error actually return by display errors so basically inside this if block if I make comment of this line just copy this code and let's say that upload uploaded data and these are the values actually we have stored inside this and let's say that echo file and inside this upload data we have a variable something we have a key something called file name so this is an array so let's say file name and inside here let's say that has been uploaded successfully so if I save that and wrap inside s3 tag and also if I write h3 tag here save this back to our browser reload this page and let's say that I'm going to upload called 10.png open and upload file and as we can see that file 10.png has been uploaded successfully back to folder structure this file has been uploaded also if I back to our editor code editor basically provides several types of configuration to our uploaded files so how can we check that back to browser back here and if I go to user guide this is the user guide and this is the user guide basically the code editor default provides back to folder structure back here this is the folder currently we have opened to our browser now inside this user underscore guide find about called file upload so file upload this is under called library reference click on that now inside this file uploading class scroll down as we can see inside this document that several types of parameters basically as a configuration provided by our code igniter basically this the, the two things we have used something called upload path and the allow types if you want to set about the maximum size maximum height and width you can set it as the configuration parameters so successfully guys by the help of this video session we understood about the file upload library inside code igniter 
So inside this video session guys, if you have any doubt, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching. Have a great day.